I still have your book, Stiff, by the way. It's about dead bodies, not about penises, viewers. Well, sometimes the penis can stiffen when the in, in rigor mortis. So. Don't tell me. Is that true? Of course it is. Yeah. This is how some people have sex with uh, corpses. Oh. You lie. <laughs> no, read it's in the book. I can't trust you ever. I don't don't take my word for it. This is somebody who did research. Are your grandparents still alive? They are. Okay. Well, my mom's side. When your grandfather dies, and you will, I'm sorry. Ask to see the body. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to It's Just Brunch. Yes. Ignore when I finished watching Orange is the New Black season two, finally, last night. Um, oh, it's so good. This show is this really popular show on Netflix, and, um, you know, it's, it's sort of written around this central character, mm -hmm. but I, and, and most people who are sane, hate her. Um, and, and, you know, I, that makes me think about, like, you know, everything that we're supposed to like, and for me, it doesn't always work out that way uh, in terms of writing. Jane Austen. Jane? I'm with you. Jane, I love you, but I really can't stand you. Oh, she's like, you know, this canonical writer, and she's she's made her contributions to literature. Sorry about it. I've actually never read Virginia Woolf. Actually, pretty much any of the classics I've never read. Um, I really struggle through The Awakening, pretty much any of the Bronte sisters, because mm. that that's like that style of writing, which is just like... Very boring. Um, but what other... Um, I will never get into Chuck Palahniuk, ever. Perks of Being a Wallflower, any of that type of stuff. Um, I tried to read Twilight. Oh, oh I think we were talking that's about actually... Week. That's my book of the week. Twilight. Twilight. <laughs> Terrible. Um, I'm going to add Emily Dickinson. I love Emily Dickinson. I know, I know you do. A lot of people do. But why do you love her? Um, because she's a psycho, and she writes yes. this really abstract yes. work that I usually don't understand, but that, I love that type of like. Can I writing. tell you, I think I would relish hanging out with her. I she, don't, I don't need to read her poetry. Yeah. She would just sit there, and she would just have mascara streaks. That's fine. That's what I would do. Okay, That's great. <laughs> I have two of her complete volumes of work, if you want to borrow it. I know you really like her, so it's there. Um, I'll think about it. Let yeah. me think about it. I thought about it. I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> and I think people have this thing where they just don't want to feel left out, and they just say, oh, yeah, no, I, I, I know all about that. I've got an opinion. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's a good positive way to look at it. That's nice. I thought people were asking. <laughs> no, people are sheep. Right, right. <laughs> People should send us a, a confession, like dog shaming, but not with your dog, but with yourself. And send a five-second video, four if you're lucky, and um, tell us your secret. We'll, we'll talk about our secrets, secrets next week on the blog. The email is it's just brunch, no apostrophe, you idiots, dot contact at gmail.com. Um, Wait a minute. Is, uh, is, someone, is someone missing? No. No. I thought so.